Hey YouTubers, welcome to my channel. Today we're back with another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. The last one I did was such a huge help to people and I get Instagram requests all the time from people who want to get more fancy in their editing. And today I wanted to show you guys how I use the paint bucket in Premiere to create this cool effect. Before we get started, as you can see, this is a collection of videos that I've done for my client, Kalana. If you watched my glitch effect tutorial, you'll see that um, this is a client I work with often and she always challenges me to create these super fun and creative videos. And so I just kind of wanted to give you guys an insight for those videographers or editors who want to spice up their life and their editing. So I'm gonna show you guys, I already dragged my clip in. This is the original clip that we shot with Kalana. Um, as you can see, it doesn't have an effect on it currently. And so right now we just have a typical zoom in. So the first thing you do is you go to your effects panel in Premiere Pro and you type in paint bucket. You bring it down onto your clip. As you can already see, it already pops up onto your clip and you have yet to have touched it yet. So what I'm going to do first is I actually want to change my color because I wanted to show a color that was already in her outfit to make it more prevalent. So I decided to change it to blue. And then I'm going to go down to, to I'm gonna go down on my tolerance because I don't really want it to be everywhere. So I'm gonna start it off at probably four. And I'm, I'm not at the beginning of my clip either. I'm kind of like, cause I want it to be at zero and I kind of want it to go from there. So I'll hit zero at the beginning and then I'm at four, but then by the middle, I kind of wanted to bring it up and you kind of really have to play around with it. Um, and so it filled her shirt and then we're gonna go back down to zero. And with that, that's like the look that we're trying to go for. We're just trying to give you a small glimpse of this effect and you're gonna be like, wow, this is super cool. And then it goes away and then it goes into a completely different clip. And so we're gonna render it really quick and see how um, it worked out. Wow, that's amazing. So I didn't even do it a lot. Normally I'll play with the fill point because I might want it to go from left to right. It's super easy and we literally only have four keyframes. It wasn't a lot. We only played around with the tolerance and still get this dope effect. So let me know what you think about this video. Let me know if this video has helped you. I pray that it has. Um, if you want me to do more tutorials, let me know. If you haven't checked out the glitch tutorial, definitely make sure you check that out. It's pretty cool. Make sure that you guys have the updated Premiere Pro, the Premiere Pro CC. That's what all the effects are. And thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like this video and make sure that you are subscribed to be able to see more videos like this, guys. And it also helps me. So thank you for watching and I will see you again.